This is Frank's Red Hot Sauce, one of the most popular hot sauces in the US. It is mild, not spicy, but quite tasty. The main ingredients are cayenne peppers and distilled vinegar. It will be the main star for today's experiment, because everything starts off with this. A beautiful four bones rib roast, which is begging to be dry aged in Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Now in order to keep this consistent, we must have a control in order to see if the sauce is going to make it better or worse. So the first thing to do is to go ahead and split it in half. For our control, there's not much to do. The only thing left is to put it in a cooling rack and into my dry ager it goes. The second one on the other hand, we're going to be doing something totally insane. So I add it to a container and immediately start putting a good amount of hot sauce. I'm talking about a ridiculous amount to make sure the whole thing was covered with it. The more, the better. Once everything was fully covered, into the dry ager you went for a week. Once the time was up, I took it out, transferred to another cooling rack for a good reason. I want this to be dry aged and not wet aged, as my hopes is that the sauce already did its job, as the only thing left to do now is to let it sit on my dry ager. Once the time was up, I took it out and look, it looks insane. It also smells very powerful. You can clearly see little spectacles of the cayenne pepper there. Since it already did its job, I went ahead and tried to remove it. At the same time, I was scraping the meat and the fat, so I knew that I could not remove the whole thing out. The only thing left to do was to go ahead and remove all of the pellico. That is what we call the outer crust that is formed whenever we're dry aging steaks. And as I was doing so, you can clearly see that the sauce penetrated deeply in there. The amount of oxidation on this steak is absolutely insane. If it doesn't look good and it doesn't smell good, it has to go. Once I was done, I went ahead and split it in half and I was left with two beautiful steaks. A good amount of oxidation though, but at the same time, I hope that the hot sauce made it taste better. Now remember that we also had the control steak and this one has dry aged beautifully. I did the same exact thing as I did previously, removing all of the pellicles as this is necessary. And once I was done, I was left with some nice thick steaks. Hopefully they're gonna taste a lot better than they look. To see them, I kept it real simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. I decided to go ahead and choose three steaks. One was dry aged with the hot sauce. The other two is just a regular dry aged steak. And just in case the dry aged hot sauce did not turn out good, I decided to go ahead and made a simple compound butter sauce. For that, I just combined some room temperature butter followed by Frank's red hot sauce. Mixed everything well and my butter sauce was now ready. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and cook the steaks. So I went ahead, bagged them up, vacuum sealed them and they are now ready for for sous vide. Talking about that, I'll be cooking all of them in the same container at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. As that was happening, it was perfect because it allowed me time to go ahead and make an awesome side dish. And this one, it's super simple to make. Into a bowl, I combined shredded chicken, followed by hot sauce, cream cheese, ranch, and mixed everything well. Once it was fully mixed, I went ahead and transferred to a cast iron skillet. Then I added some extra hot sauce, followed by blue cheese. Here you can add as much or as little as you like. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and stick it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I left it there for about 20 minutes. As once the time was up, my spicy hot dip was now ready. I just transferred to a different bow and added some chives together with some pita chips. Now this is going to be nice and spicy and hopefully very delicious and it should pair up perfect with today's experiment. Talking about that, by this time my steaks were fully cooked. So I went ahead, removed them from the bag and as you can see, whenever you cook steaks sous vide, they don't look that great. So I went ahead and pat them dry really good because now the only thing left to do is to go ahead and put a nice crust on them. And I know exactly what you're thinking. My steaks don't look that good right now, but watch this. Alright everybody, here we got our beautiful steaks, gentlemen, with a nice side dish today. Are you guys hungry? Oh, I'm ready for some steak today, bro. I'm salivating right now. I want to try these steaks. Arr. But we do have a little experiment going on and I want to know your honest opinion on these steaks. Let me know if you feel anything different, if anything is weird or if anything is spicy. With that being said, let's give it a go. We're going to start this direction. Please dig in, gentlemen. Let's go. Me first. Uh, when was the last time you ate, Leo? Too long. I'm about to just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. We gotta try the steak before he actually eats the plate. Give me your honest opinion on this one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. 
Oh, that's good. Oh. Let me go for more. That is a beautiful dry aged steak, Google. Dry age, huh? You can tell right away. Oh yeah, that thing got that funk. Delicious steak right there. You can tell right away it's dry aged. You get that nice enhanced beef flavor that makes it so delicious. Makes you want to go back for more. That's awesome. Yeah, you cannot even fake it, everybody, because whenever you dry age steaks and then you cook it sous vide, the flavor is extremely pronounced. Very nice, a nice, beautiful dry aged steak. But let's dig into the second one, guys. Please. Okay. Again, quick on the trigger. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. Smell different. I don't think so. I think it smells pretty normal. That face is scaring me a little bit. I think it smells a little bit different. I think so as well. Enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this one's oh, that's nice. Oh, this one is different. Is it spicy? Maybe like a little tang in there. Mm. Slightly. Maybe for you a little bit, but. My own video, I got roasted, everybody. Yeah, I feel it. I feel I feel it's a little spicy. Yeah, actually, really? that's a lot spicy actually. I I don't even <laughs> taste the spice. I do like this one more. I think it tastes slightly beefier. And I'm just an overall fan of the improved savoriness of this steak. I actually enjoyed it as well. Even though it's a little bit spicy for me, since you guys said it's not spicy, I'd love for you to try the side dish. So what this is, it's just a dip. Grab a little bit. This is hard. <laughs> this is difficult. <laughs> There's a lot of chicken in there. You gotta use two chips, guys. Hey, listen, we are protein people. The more chicken, the more better. All right. Hey, yeah. that's true. Again. You're not gonna get this amount of chicken or protein anywhere else. When you go to a restaurant, they put no chicken. I made sure to put enough chicken there for you, Leo. I like that. Let's give it a try and let you guys know. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> oh, that is delicious and it's spicy. Don't tell me it's not spicy now. <laughs> wow. You? Not at all? You don't feel nothing? I like the flavor a lot, I'm not gonna lie. It has a strong hot sauce flavor. You immediately get that chicken. It also tastes like there's some like blue cheese or something in there. Yes, there is, Leo. It's delicious, but not spicy. I want chip. Yes, it is spicy, everybody. It's so spicy, it's the same thing as ghost peppers. No. Side dish, pretty good, very delicious. Leaves a little tangy taste on your mouth. With that being said, let's dig in for the last steak. Ready? I don't think my sense of smell is working today. This, <laughs> this, thing, this thing smelled the same to me, guys. You should see what I did with it. Oh, I, God. I do think it's a little bit different. Enough talking, let's give it a try right now. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. That's good. That's good, Leo. You enjoy that. I do. Tastes like a nice dry aged steak. It's a little bit saltier, a little bit more beefy. It's like a flavor of like vinegar in there. It's not It's not spicy? Not really. You guys are right. It, it tastes a little bit more vinegary than anything else. So this steak was first soaked in Frank's red hot sauce and then right. immediately then dry aged it. So, you know, it penetrated nicely and deeply, but the vinegar penetrated more deeply. It tastes more like vinegar than anything else, everybody. Let's Which one up. is your winner? I think it's gonna be this one right here. This one here is just a regular dry aged steak that we made a compound butter made out of Frank's red hot sauce and butter. You can never go wrong with a compound butter. I'm gonna have to also choose the middle steak. It's a little bit creamier, a little bit saltier. That's beautiful. I agree, everybody. For this exact experiment, you're better off just dry aging the steak by itself then using a compound butter for the extra flavor. But these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.